My name is Bo Barber with Ecor, and today we're here to talk about vulcanized composition rubber. Recycled rubber was really a, a big trend in the flooring industry because in the 80s and 90s recycling and reclaimed materials and post-consumer content were really so sexy at that point in time. Vulcanized composition rubber is a phrase or terminology that we've created at Ecor to help us promote, again, the technology by which we create floors that do more. Vulcanized composition rubber really was created first and foremost to help us deal with the misrepresentation of what people think we do, which is recycled rubber. Historically, recycled rubber is something that has been attached to Ecor for decades. The truth is we do use a lot of recycled rubber in our products and in our technology. But again, in our mission statement, that is just part of how we do it. At Ecor, we reclaim a lot of different products and a lot of different raw materials that come from either post-consumer or post-industrial waste. Some of it from Nike shoes, some of it from post-industrial automotive waste, and some of it truly from post-consumer tire waste. When we talk about vulcanized composition rubber, it really helps to break down the word vulcanized composition rubber into its three pieces. First, vulcanized. Any rubber is essentially vulcanized. Right? So whether we are creating a product from post-consumer, post-industrial, or creating a product from a virgin state, any rubber is vulcanized by nature. A lot of people in the industry are creating a product that is solid, it is homogeneous, and it is a vulcanized rubber. In most cases, those products are a vulcanized SBR rubber, styrene butadiene rubber. The funny thing in the industry is that our post-consumer tire waste is also a vulcanized SBR rubber. So to draw a correlation or a comparison between the two, you must realize that they're essentially the same thing. The real word that we want to focus on today is composition. So we've established that vulcanized is consistent no matter what rubber flooring we're creating. Composition is really where the differentiation for Ecor comes. Most of our competitors are making a calendared product. That means they take rubber and as it's being vulcanized and finished, they calendar that into a sheet. Well, what happens when you're calendaring anything is you're typically driving energy out of that system as it's being calendared. When we make composition rubber, by deference, we're taking and grinding all the powerful attributes of a vulcanized rubber into small, tiny, what I call power pellets or granules. Then we're taking those power pellets or granules and combining them into a composition where we're able to drive energy into that system as opposed to driving energy out. And at its core, that is where the differentiation and all the more characteristics at Ecor come from.